Hello everyone, welcome back to another Diecast Hall. Now, I have been gone for a little bit, but I'm returning with a Diecast Hall, which is normally how it goes. Normally when I come back from like a week, week and a half, maybe more, uh, of a, not really a break, just I didn't really get to record anything, so now that I always return with a Diecast Hall, it can just kind of seems uh, kind of like the new normal, I guess, and... This haul here is, uh, let me tell you, nothing, nothing compared to what I've got coming in the next couple days. We've got a pretty solid package coming from K-State Diecast, maybe tomorrow, I'm not too sure, it might be today whenever you're actually watching it or whenever I upload it, so that's going to be fun, and then we have a package, and I mean like a big package, from diecast buffet that's coming in the mail very 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 soon oh my god i cannot wait for that one to get here that's a gold mine for projects uh we're having like a couple uh collabed customs those are going to be fan uh, fantastic he's sending me uh some uh, a little bit older releases that i didn't get to uh so i got them from him other than getting them from like k-state or uh, circle b so, we got some good ones in there, uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today, we're going to have the small haul uh, that I just picked up at Walmart. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you should. Uh, I kind of posted the whole, like, I think I posted what I picked up, but I, p I posted that we found Wave 8, and that's not all I got. I mean, it's mostly Wave 8, but there is uh, some things that are a little different from Wave 8. Now, the entirety of Wave 8 was there, other than the Byron, which I actually didn't realize until just now. So, all of them was there but Byron. Uh, so, I did pick up a couple. I did not pick up all the ones I wanted. I'm a little tight on the, uh, the green right now, so I'm trying to kind of not spend so much at the moment. So, we did get, uh, what, like five, maybe? One, two, three, four. No, we got four. Okay. So I got four, and then a special die cast, which I never thought I would ever own. It's not a 124 scale, and it's not a 164 scale, so that's going to be interesting, and I also got it from Walmart, too. Now, originally, I did not plan to collect Wave 8. We just did a, uh, like a review on it, I guess. Not really a review, but a preview. Uh, but I did, I did pick up a couple for customs. Uh, this one, first up, is going to be Chase Briscoe in the High Point paint scheme. Now, if you look at the dashboard, we actually have some more detail with the PTC, which now, these are not called PTC molds, they are J molds, I believe, it says underneath on the bottom. Uh, so whenever we actually get to the diecast review, we will take a look at that also. So I guess, uh, hypothetically, the PTC mold is gone, uh, they just switched, I guess, the, the name of it, I'm not really too sure. Next up, we have your... 2023 champion if I can get it off the uh, the cord here Ryan Blaney in the number 12 Menards Duracell paint scheme very very slick uh, again got these for customs don't worry I'm not stripping any of the cars or anything it's just a little a little change we got to do just a kind of a soft opening for the 2024 bottom die cast uh, year of customs Next up will be Ross Chastain in the uh, number one uh, Kubota paint scheme here. Now, whenever I do these die casts or these customs, you will notice the front end here, <laughs> maybe, uh, is not lined up very well. It's hard to see in the package, but these headlights are still very small. You can kind of see there. Uh, whenever I do my customs, I will be fixing those, so don't worry. Uh, the front end headlights will be fixed for the Chevys. That way they don't kind of look like dog crap or don't look as bad, I guess. One more for the Authentics is going to be good old KFB in the Cheddar's paint scheme. Uh, you'll be able to see how bad the actual front end nose is here. There you go. You can see how small it is and how crooked it is compared to what it's supposed to be. Uh, but again, don't worry. I will have that fixed. So, boom, Cheddar's paint scheme. And that's all we have for these four Authentics. Now, here's kind of the kicker of this haul. Very odd. Something I would never, ever do. But a certain somebody 
on my Instagram commented, or not commented, he DM'd me saying, hey, seeing those specific cars reminds me of this race win from this person in this series from this race that has confetti on it, and that's pretty cool because this particular racing series doesn't do confetti very often. So, I was like, huh, yeah, you're right. So I'll walk back over to the Authentics area, pick up this specific driver with a specific car in a specific series. I'm just going to show you because I still can't believe I have it. But, yeah, I know. Uh, it. I'm speechless myself. Didn't think I would ever, ever own a Red Bull Racing, I believe it's Formula One, right, vehicle, because I don't watch it, I don't collect the cars, I have no interest in it, but it is interesting. It's also a very good way uh, to kind of learn about just the series and the driver, paint scheme, the actual car itself. So... It's a 143 scale, Red Bull Racing. Uh, I don't know the company that makes this. I guess that's this here. And, I mean, I don't don't know who the, guy, who the guy's name is. Or what the guy's name is. What is it? It said somewhere. I know it says on the box, but I can't read it through the actual thing. Max Ver Verstappen? Maybe I probably completely butchered that name, but yeah, an open wheel car, Formula One, Red Bull Racing, whatever, you know, what, just whatever series it is, because I don't say Formula One on here, I don't think, so I don't know if it's like Formula One or IndyCar, it may be IndyCar, because I don't see IndyCar either, I, I don't know anything about the uh, series, I just know they're both open wheel. So I apologize if I'm offending any Formula One or, you know, open wheel fan in general. Because, you know, Formula One versus any car, I know it's different. I just don't know how it's different because I don't pay attention. I don't really follow the series at all or the type of vehicles. I don't know, but I think they look the same. Just, you know, being an outsider from NASCAR, I just, I don't know. So what I'm going to do... I don't even remember what race it was. I think it was like some Mexico race. Uh, I'm going to make the custom of the race win and give it to a buddy of mine for Christmas uh, because he no longer watches my videos, but I know he will love this car probably. I would assume so. I will have my work cut out for me with the research of this vehicle, this driver, uh, the race in general. So whenever it comes around to the actual custom, I'm going to have a lot more info and hopefully be uh, actually educated for once on these cars because I have no idea what it is. Like it's it's very foreign to me. It's like it's different. I don't really know what to say. I don't know what any of the parts on the car is called other than like the, obviously the wheels. And then I think there's like the uh, the the part with the, like the driver. I freaking forgot what it was called, but I, I knew the name at one point. Uh, but everything else is very foreign. I don't really know anything about it. So I'm actually very excited to learn about this specific car, these type of cars, these type of racing style. So I'm kind of interested. Now don't get your hopes up. You guys are lucky I even have this. So if, if that uh, specific somebody didn't say anything, I wouldn't even have it. But you know what? We'll take a shot and uh, we'll kind of call it, call it there. So yeah, uh, that will be it for this haul. Let's see if I can stand these puppies up i doubt it but we'll see oh no we got it right how's that okay so yeah that's pretty much going to be it for the haul don't really have much else to say but yeah pretty interesting got a open wheel die cast along with a nascar so again very odd to say the least but guys i promise you i have so many more die casts coming don't wait like, don't wait around. Whenever it gets here, whenever I put up the video, you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to be good. 
and they're all projects for the most part. Again, I have a, uh, like, I bought a buttload of decals from Diecast Buffet. I bought, I think, four 124s from K-State because they were, like, uh, bought from the previously owned collection and got those really cheap, so I was able to get kind of more at once. I cannot wait. But with that being said, that'll be all for the Stycast Hall. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.